Brought to you by CTIG, the Canadian Interoperability Technology Interest Group. The Association of Public Safety Communications Officials Canada and Canadian chapters of the National Emergency Number Association. When it comes to public safety, embracing new technology is critical to achieving our collective missions. As an example, satellites now provide global positioning capabilities that can now be leveraged by first responders. Using a map and compass still works, but things have evolved. 911 services must plan now to embrace new technologies. 911 service in Canada started in 1972 running across telephone wire strung on poles. Initially, it provided a single number to call for help, then evolved to providing location identification for fixed wired installations. The use of cell phones to contact 911 services was another evolution requiring change and investment. This new application of cell phones prompted the development of radio location services to determine where the mobile customer was actually located. Voice over IP services prompted further an evolution in delivering 911 services. The core 911 service has been based on voice calls and linked with location identification. Times have changed. In a recent Canadian Red Cross study, 35% of respondents believe that emergency services are currently responding to requests for assistance via social media. In most jurisdictions, this is incorrect, and public safety leaders should develop communications strategies to inform the public that the only way to currently reach 911 is via voice telephone calls. A new initiative called Next Generation 911, or NG911 for short, is being elaborated. The NG911 concept builds on the core voice and location services, but enables callers to contact 911 services via text messaging services and to communicate via video and voice. NG911, when implemented, will allow citizens to send and receive requests via text message or video when asking for assistance. Often, the general public is under the mistaken impression that NG911 capabilities already exist. Responder agencies and those organizations that run public safety answering points, known as PSAPs, must begin raising awareness about when and how these new technologies will be implemented and deployed. For PSAPs, enabling the full promise of NG911 will require new infrastructure, procedures and standards. Responder agencies and PSAPs must start to plan now. It is anticipated that budgets may need to increase by as much as 30%. This estimate, while not yet fully quantified, includes all resources including staffing, infrastructure and technology. It is expected that implementation will be phased, focusing first on text to 911 for the hearing impaired, followed by text to 911 for the general public, then enabling sending photos followed by video. What can you do? Get informed and put this issue on your organization's radar. Inform your boards, municipalities, provincial and territorial governments, and other governing bodies that NG911 will have a significant impact on public safety in Canada. Work with Tri-Services colleagues and others to advocate a strong voice for public safety in advance of NG911 implementation. Visit www.ng911.ca www.ctig.ca or search Twitter for mobilization information by CTIG, the Canadian Association of Chiefs of Police, the Canadian Association of Fire Chiefs, and Paramedic Chiefs of Canada, and others.